Um, this actually, before I really even took office in January of 2011, one of the things was kind of put out as a goal that I should shoot for by the state and other people who had, had interest in our political well-being for our county told me that I ought to look at the polling locations because we have 19 currently. And in doing so, I felt as though it wasn't just something I could just walk into and say, hey, I'm going to close these down today and not. I wanted to have the opportunity to go through the experiences of the elections to see how everything went, what the costs were like, the geographic location, just take everything into consideration before you'd ever make a move of that magnitude because that impacts people, impacts their civil rights, it impacts their well-being, and I, that's, I'm very sensitive to that. So after going through the last three and a half years I've been in office, I've taken in consideration all of those factors. Cost, of course, rising to the top and having to consider budgets and consider the financial increases of election costs as a whole. Um, another big factor was having to replace our outdated machines. They're still working and dead on as far as the count's concerned, but they're becoming obsolete for repairs and parts to replace them when they go down. So over the next 18 months or so, we're going to have to be seriously looking at replacing all of them. Currently we have 42. Um, the lucky thing is with the new machines, we have the optical scan machine and we have the touch screens. The touch screens are required to be put in place every federal election. They're big, they're bulky, they do the job, but they're difficult to put together, they're difficult to take apart, and it's just a real hardship to poll workers. And the casing that they're in now is starting to deteriorate. Put them together and you may see a plastic piece but go The new up. machines that are coming out are going to be the Ones, what we call an OS machine right now where you slide the ballot through, those you use at every election, and then the touch screens for the hearing and visually impaired. Those are also interconnected with that machine, but they're not, they're separate, but they're not they're connected so that the people when they ballot, vote a ballot, will count. When they do the touch screen, it counts into that same program. So we save money by not having separate programming fees, and we also save money because they're less expensive to buy, just one unit. But each one of those units are about $10,000 a piece. So when you look at <clears throat> replacing 19 polling places at $10,000, that's $190,000. Yeah, this consolidation I felt like was also the necessary for the financial side for the, when we have to replace the machines. But another thing, we're having difficulty of getting enough poll workers to work all 19 precincts. A lot of the original poll workers that's worked for years have decided on their own accord that it was just getting too much for them, a long day, and carrying the machines, the heavy machines, to and from the polling places, it was just not in their best interest to keep working, so they chose, several of them chose not to come back. Not a lot, but enough that we felt the impact, and trying to get people to replace those people was a problem. So those three main things, the financial increases in election costs, replacing machines, and poll workers, those were the three huge when people hear of this, that they understand that it is strictly from a uh, financial standpoint because I have I have bucked up against those who said you better make some changes, you better make some changes, you better make some changes. I've held my ground very solidly based on the fact that well, we're making this work. It wasn't until the financial costs started increasing and each year I saw the increase in, in ballot costs, programming fees, just general across the board expenditures and taking year one versus year three, if that trend would continue, they, I mean, it's time to make those changes. But I gave every effort I could to try to make sure that this was the right time.